Well, new credit card rules went into effect just this week, and if you're confused about those changes, we're here to help you, of course. The president of Consolidated Credit Counseling, Howard Vorkin, is here to help us this morning to explain some of those new rules for us. Good morning to you, Howard. How are you doing today? Good morning. Well, I know that I've got my credit card bill in the mail, and it had lots of little tiny print explaining all the changes. Uh, in a nutshell, give us a little bit of an idea um, of some of those changes, and of course, you are going to be answering questions at JustNews.com um, for the next hour or so, and I'll come out and ask you some more questions in a moment but in a nutshell what's going on out there I mean basically this is a very sweeping law that has gone into place this week the final implementation was started Monday of this new law it affects 381 million credit cards that are issued in this country that's more credit cards for every single person man woman and child in this country that are out there essentially it's going to protect consumers from the credit card companies from raising the interest rates on their on their accounts for no reason they have to explain now what they do and why they do it they also have to go back if they determine to raise your accounts your interest rates they're going to have to go back after six months and reevaluate it and maybe to bring it back down to what it was previously also late fees late fees were pushing up to forty dollars every month now they're going to have to be go down to twenty five dollars if unfortunately you are late and then the second month they may get an increase of thirty five dollars so there's a lot of help there also if you do, if you have a credit card and you're not using it essentially they can't charge you a penalty for not using your credit card rather this is a very very consumer friendly bill the credit card act of two thousand nine really had a lot of good stuff in it for consumers that are going to ha help them get rid of their debt and finally make sense of what's going on. Also, there's a lot of disclosures, if you've noticed on your credit card statements, essentially going through and explaining in more detail of what is exactly happening, how much you're paying, how much you're being charged, and th options that you have for getting out of debt quicker. And we all need to, need to do that. So many people in debt right now. Well, I'll be uh, talking to you a, a bit more out in the newsroom, but if you have any questions or concerns right now, about the new rules, you can log on to our website, justnews.com. There you can join the web chat until 10 o'clock and ask Mr. Dvorkin all of your credit card questions. And of course, there's all these credit cards for college students and all kinds of things out there. So get online, ask your questions. And welcome back. We're talking money in the newsroom right now. Perhaps you've gotten your credit card bill and you've seen the small print there explaining that there are some new rules in effect. Well, uh, we've got Howard Dvorkin here from uh, the credit card consolidating company to let us know a little bit more about what those rules really mean to us. How does it affect me personally? It's going to save you money. Whoever owes money, it's definitely a positive. And certainly people who are using the credit cards have some more protections that the banks aren't going to jack their rates up for craziness. And also, there's some great savings if you are late on your credit cards. You can't be hit with crazy uh, uh, late fees and over limit fees. And there's limitations as to what the banks can charge now. So at the end of the day, consumers are going to save a lot of money with this new, with the new law. So you'll actually see the changes fairly quickly. It's not something that's just, that's just on a piece of paper. You will actually see it in black and white in terms of what you're saving. It's going to have a real dollar effect on people. Also, people are going to be more informed on the credit card statements that started coming out over the summer, you saw uh, different notifications, how long it could take you if you make the minimum payment to pay this credit card balance off, and also numbers to get help. Consolidated Credit Counseling, which is my firm, uh, has been offering this help for almost two decades, and certainly there's a lot of people that still don't have a good handle on their finances, and this is a way to get it taken you know, care of. We can certainly see that. Well, speaking of getting a handle on finances, it's always a good time to do that uh, when you're younger and you're going off to college, perhaps, and now there are some changes and some new things available for college students and for teenagers to help them understand how to save money and, and not go credit card crazy. Certainly. Credit cards are a way of life. It's part of our lives. And you need to train children and young, young people to utilize them properly and not get themselves in trouble. And essentially giving a credit card to a college student is probably not the best idea unless there's certain parameters put on there. In fact, this new law has a, uh, a, 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 a 
tool that essentially doesn't allow anybody 18 year, or 21 years or younger mm -hmm. to get a credit card. Before, if you were 18, you could get a credit card. By the time you're 20, you may have $10,000 worth of debt and no job. So now there are parameters. But with a person in, credit, in, in college, they're able to go through and work off of a small balance. And there are products out there, the Visa Bucks product. Mm -hmm. um, certainly American Express just came out with a product. And for young people that are all go first getting their credit cards and getting their credit established, those are great ways to learn. I don't personally suggest giving credit cards to people, to children that are less than 18. That's mm -hmm. just my own personal thought, and my children will never have that, right. that uh, a credit card handed mm -hmm. to them before then because they need to be taught to save rather than spend, in my opinion. Well, yeah, my, as I was telling you, my son turned 18, and we did the Visa Bucks, which, for those of you who don't know, it's, you can put a limit on it, whether it's $100 or $300 or, or $50 even, so that they learn what to spend. But now you say American Express has a, sim, a similar situation. Exactly. And and there's spending alerts on some of these products where they send you an email yeah. seeing what junior is spending their money on. Yeah. So if they're out at college and, and hitting the bars, you're going to see that. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's a very good idea. Yeah, I've, I've noticed that on mine as well. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. I know you're answering questions, so we want to make sure you can get back to the computer and do that and Great. help us with our money, our finances. We all need thank help you with so that. Much. Thanks for being here, Howard. This is Howard Dvorkin, and he is going to be here till 10 o'clock with us. So get on justnews.com. If you have any kind of credit card questions or figuring out how to really get your finances in order, he's the man to ask. Back to you, JC. Very helpful. We need all those details. Thank you, Christy.